hit it. Hi, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power, and we have a wind turbine to show and tell today. This is the high energy Pegasus 1500. We have this in 48 volt and 96 volt. Um, predominantly, this is one of the wind turbines that I choose to use currently, especially in the 96 volt that we like to use and pair this with the Midnight Classic Charge Controller and the Midnight Clipper. Now, what we notice with this wind turbine through testing over multiple years is you get more power over time using a multi-power point tracking algorithm. Uh, certification on this wind turbine and you have some third-party engineered standards, which is to say the data point on this wind turbine is not something that Tony from Hurricane made up. This is third-party engineered, not from the com company. This is real-world data, which I will just briefly say in the small wind turbine arena, you do not see much stuff uh, advertised with real world data. Also, the standards of 11 meters per second and 24.6 miles an hour, that's, that's the rateable wind speed. And I believe that's where most of the data set points for this particular test was done. All of these turbines, which you see the 400 in 12, 24, and 48 volt, the 600 in 24 and 48 volt, the 1K and the 1.5, and the 3KW, all will have the same third-party engineered data set. Um, a lot of folks also have asked for the wind, um, the noise, the decibels. How much noise do the blades make when they're going through the air? This is a quiet wind turbine. And, um, you know, that, that data, third-party engineer, just like the power output data, is available on our website. And maybe we can put a few graphs in this video. We will link the product description below. I have briefly, I was going to do a install video slash assembly video, except this thing is so simple that we'll briefly go through and discuss the parts, but there isn't Four or five things that have to be bolted together on this wind turbine. It is three phase AC output to a rectifier, rectified to DC that will either go to your battery bank in diversion load or midnight classic clipper combo, depending on what you decide to use. Now, going through the sem assembly. This is sitting today on an inch and a half pipe, which I have a threaded coupling, which for ease of use for display, we have put on today. What comes in this um, kit, we have got this flange coupling that comes with it. That will need to be welded to a pipe, preferably uh, I would say at a minimum two inches diameter. This is a relatively heavy turbine. So, it, you know, new construction, I, I would prefer to see this. And this depends on your height, how high are you putting this up. Um, we'd like to see this on a thicker wall two inch pipe. It's a heavy turbine. And it's got a wide uh, blade diameter. I'm six foot five, six foot six, 250 pounds. And you can tell in scale compared to me, it's pretty decently big wind turbine. But I think for me, 
and this kind of hits especially with the ultra controllable classic clipper combo and what i mean by that is the blade voltage when the cut end point is reached on this wind turbine there isn't an abrupt uh, load placed on this when you use this with an MPPT charge controller, it you know cycles the load on and off evenly. It allows this turbine to spin um, more consistently, making more kilowatt hours over time. That's something that's very important to wind power production. And um, now I've been watching these things go for over for several years, and I mean we can. I can invariably tell you that we can we can about get the same power production out of one unit with a MPPT power curve that you can with two or three without it. But you know this will need to be welded up to a heavy pipe. We do not like the shaft coupling stuff. I've been doing this for many years and I've seen stuff come off and go through uh, st sticking out of the ground and everything else. So, you know, we do not want wind turbines, heavy wind turbines to fall down and hurt people. So, you know, as rigid as you can get these things, the better. The wobble out of the top of the pole, when you get that, you're losing, you're losing power. And I mean, as you've seen, storms can come through and they can tear things up. So getting these things down really rigid if you're not able to get these things down in the event of a storm, especially when they get this big, very important to spend some money and build a good tower. Now, once you get this welded on, we have four bolts that go in and that goes to this flange mount and four bolts this has got a internal yaw bearing that is sealed this is a sealed yaw bearing and it has a internally uh, strain relieved slip ring inside this inside this turbine this is all one unit this part on the back you can see the tail goes on, and I haven't even screwed these down, but these are, there's four Allen screws that go down on the back. There's a little gasket that goes in here. And that's really the, you know, the body. That's the extent of it. Like a lot of the other turbines we've sold over the years, there is a nose cone that, uh, goes on and uh, there's actually a keyway there is a tapered shaft with this and uh, this nose cone simply pops on there are three bolts that there's no wrong way there's a cut out here that gives you your blade direction tapered shaft Keyway through the shaft to retain to retain this nut. Um, so after we get the you know after we get the shaft coupling, after we get the body, it's as simple as putting these blades together and putting them on, torquing this down, not too much, um, and then you got a keyway to keep it from backing off, and then you simply have a nose cone. Now, one of the many um, benefits of this type of wind turbine is once you get, and I think over the past several years, when you buy from us, people know that we have wind turbines that perform, but secondarily to performance is that it has to perform over time. Longevity, that's, a, that's, a, that's another metric that's very important as to whether or not these things will pay for themselves. So besides the electromagnetic braking, 
high energy wind turbines have dy dynamic blade braking, which is also shown in their third party engineered uh, chart that the power curve goes up. It goes up exponentially, it peaks off, and then it trails back down. And that's because the blade set morphs to let some of the tension off. And that's what's known as dynamic blade breaking. The pitch slightly changed, and it doesn't apply as much torque after you reach a certain level. The generator housing, let's get up here and focus on this generator housing, if you will. Come on over. This generator housing, it's a big generator. It has a lot of diameter to it. Let's get in on this. It's sealed. There's no water that can get in here. This wind turbine has a four year, or a five year warranty. If you register it with us in a uh, installation, that meets some criteria that if you want to discuss prior to purchase, we can discuss. Anything that is an act of God, we can cover. If you have something, material, work, you know, craftsman defects, if you have something that fails during normal wind speeds in the uh, zip code zone that now, I mean, this, I, I believe the survival speed on this wind turbine is 110 miles an hour. So, I mean, it takes a lot to get one of these to come apart. We've got units of these that were sold over a decade ago that are still in service. So when you pair this high energy Pegasus wind turbine we're selling with the Midnight Classic Clipper Combo, and I mean, this is a set that if you do some routine maintenance with and just check on these things every so often and make sure your tower is not firing, falling down, we can get you a payback on, on, on your wind turbine. Um, lastly, we've gone over longevity, power output, performance, certifications. I'm thinking that we've gone through everything that I want to talk about. But, you know, lastly, I would just simply say something that I stated in a former video in that I have not abandoned the possibility of building wind turbines again at some point. I did have a spinal lesion thanks to the woohoo flu, uh, flu in the China Bug special. And got to learn how to walk again. So outside of us building stuff ourselves, this is a turbine that we had had and that I still see performing uh, in the units that were sold over a decade ago. And that's the best thing. That's I think that's the most important thing for me and my customer base is to provide a quality product at a fair price that you know, I have seen good results out of. And believe it or not, if there is something out there that um, just doesn't work, we we don't want to sell it. And um, it's really not worth your name and reputation for. But this is a product that I feel like we can stand behind. Uh, it's it stood the test of time. And uh, this is what we're going to go with here for the for the next while anyway, I think this is one that we will continue to carry regardless of whether or not I start building things or not, just because it is a good solid producer at a fair price point. And um, anyway, that's the one video for the, for the larger wind turbine. We will get the 400 and 1,000 and the 3K put out for you guys here pretty soon. Just wanted to put out a video and show you guys some of these wind turbines and a few other products that we have. And uh, until next time, thank you, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power out.